Mm. Where is the millennium here? So in verse 23, at his coming, mm. that's the beginning of the millennium. Is, uh, yes. Okay, then it jumps. Of course, it is parousia. So then it jumps to the end of the millennium in 24. He's talking about the sequence of resurrection here. So his first resurrection of all the saints is at the beginning of the millennium. We know that. Christ was the first before that to be raised from the dead. Then comes the final stage. The end here, in this context, means the end of a sequence of resurrections. And Revelation 20 says, that when the thousand years is finished, then all the rest of the dead will be raised in the great, great white throne resurrection. So it's not too hard, provided you've got the scheme right. If you understand the second coming, that's when the resurrection of all the faithful will be. Christians of all the ages, those before Christ and after Christ, all the true believers will be in that resurrection of Luke 14, 14, the resurrection of the just, of the people who are right with God. That's the verse hard. there, 24, then the end, when yeah. the son hands over the kingdom to the God and Father. Yes. That is the end of the millennium? Absolutely. At that time, he will have abolished all rule and authority. It's going to take him a thousand years to get everything under control. He must reign. He's destined to reign. There it is in that future kingdom. Until he has put everything under his feet, then he gives it all back to the Father and says, Look, Father, what I've done. Here's a perfected world. The first stage of the kingdom of God is the millennial thousand year reign. The first stage of the kingdom of God on earth. It just seems that for Paul, yeah. the millennium is not very clear here. He simply has a view of the parousia and then the end. And it's sort of truncated, if you know what I mean, verses 23 and 24. Well, Yes, you have to know your background. If people don't understand the millennium, then they're going to be in a muddle here. But if you understand the scheme, then it's clear that he's talking in verse 25 about the destined reign of Messiah. That begins at the second coming. And the first stage of the kingdom of God on earth is that thousand-year reign. This is the way I explained it here. This is the way that classical pre-millennial people have always understood this.